Next question is uh, from a sister. What responsibilities are on the child whose father abandoned him, abandoned him or her emotionally, financially, physically, once the child grows up? There are two things here that do not conflict and should not conflict. There are rights and there are responsibilities. So your right as a child to be fed, taken care of, given shelter, being brought up in an Islamic way. This is your rights. Your responsibility is to be dutiful to your father or to your parents, to take care of them, to obey them, to respect them, and to cater for their needs if you're wealthy and they are in need. Now, if they fail in delivering your rights, this does not exempt you on the day of judgment from fulfilling their rights, from doing your responsibilities. And this is what a lot of the people are unable to digest, especially, and I totally understand, especially those who were abandoned by their parents or one of them. Lots of the sisters, lots of brothers say, my father disputed with my mom, divorced her when I was a young child. And for 20 years, he would not even call us or send us a penny. Now, after I've graduated from uni and I have a good job and a good career, he's calling me and asking me for money. He's uh, uh, wanting me to visit him and I don't want to do anything with him. This is where shaitan creeps in big time. No, he's sinful and he's accountable for his actions on the day of judgment, but you as well, must realize that your father is the middle gate of Jannah, whether he's a good father or a bad father. And if you fail to do what you have to do, your obligations towards him, you'll be as sinful as he is on the day of judgment and you will be punished maybe even further or more severely than him and Allah Azza wa knows best.